everybody. I'm not usually political. Everybody knows that the King of Pot kind of sits back, and I and I let my brother in the movement, Mike, can uh, do a lot of the political stuff. But I learned from him, and when I learned from him, especially getting into the uh, the, the Mass DPH regulations for medical marijuana, you know, I got very involved what they were trying to do with a law that we already have. Okay, and let me, let's put this in layman terms. We already have a medical marijuana law that was passed in November. And now we have opponents, uh, people that were against this law, let's say. Okay, they've been allowed to sit on this board or this committee and help redraft the laws we already had. Now, let me explain what has happened here. We get the vote in. They end up uh, pre-drafting a, a regulation uh, on it. We go in and we speak as the public on what they proposed in the drafts. Now, me and Mike went three weeks ago to the Mass Department of Health. Talk about these regulations. There were some good things in there. And there were a lot of bad things in there. And in the beginning, while we were there, all we saw were a bunch of suits. Okay? A lot of suits, a lot of people with money. Everybody talking about dispensary, 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 dispensary. I mean, come on. Nothing about patients until Mike got up and finally said to the Department of Health Regulations Committee, Hey, uh, did we ask what this is going to cost the patients? Has anybody here, everybody's talking about dispensaries, you know? And, 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 and now, after listening to us, getting up there talking, I myself got up there and talked. It seemed like a, they didn't even listen. I said this. They said under the law now we all can grow marijuana, okay, until the dispensary is built. But after the dispensary is built, now you can't grow any more of your medicine, and the medicine that you were probably growing for far less than you could pay in the dispensary, you are not, not allowed anymore to grow. You'd have to apply for a hardship. There's about 12 questions. You've got to submit a fee. You've got to wait until you find out if you, you get uh, uh, okay tonight. And then your grow has to be inspected, this and that. Now, well, it's all this red tape. The, the average person isn't going to go through it. So they're going to make it hard for you to procure your own medicine. And why is that bad, you say? Well, let me explain. There are certain strains of medical marijuana that works for certain people. So if you're allowed to grow, let's say, an indigo that's a blue cheese strain, and then you have to stop growing, and now you might have to drive 150 miles because that, that well, doesn't matter where the dispensary is, the 25-mile clause, whatever. No, 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 it could be anywhere in Massachusetts. You've got to drive there and pay whatever price they're doing. It's like, okay, you have one supermarket in Massachusetts, and everybody's going to go shopping there. Wow, wouldn't you like to have the monopoly on that, folks? That's exactly what was happening, and that's what we were in there talking about with the drafts. We wanted those things changed. We didn't want them to say that we couldn't grow, that we had to buy from a dispensary. We didn't want them to say that there was only going to be one caregiver per person. That's ridiculous, too. That has to end. Did they listen? No. They re-released they re -released the, they re -released the, the drafts this week, the final one, and it's worse. It, 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 nothing changed. It's all for the suits, it's all for the big business, it's all for people that want to get into the dispensary business and sell marijuana to the patients. It's not about the patients, folks. No, that's why King of Pot is coming out on this now. I want to know what MPAA is doing. I hear that they say that this is a good law. How is this a good law? You explain to me how this is a good law. I want you to come on my show, live with the King of Pot, and tell me how this is a good law. Where I can't grow my own medicine for a strain or something that works for me that they may not even have at this dispensary. So tell me how this is for the patients. You're MPAA, you're supposed to be for the patients. I believed in you. I can't believe that you think this is a good law. I think it's a horrible law.